There are a lot of unique outfits in Fallout 4, and most of them will offer some form of benefit to you if you wear them, like an increase to damage resistances, the ability to breathe underwater, or even boost special stats. So in this video, I will be showing you some outfits that you don't want to miss. The first outfit on this list comes from the DB Technical High School. When you get here, make your way to the second floor, and on top of a locker at the back of the hall, you will find the DB Tech Varsity Uniform. Now this outfit won't really give you any damage resistances, but it will increase your luck by 2. And in the basement of the DB Technical High School, you will find the raider boss named Bosco. And if you defeat Bosco, you will be able to loot the mascot head off of his body. This helmet offers a small amount of damage resistance, but it is a very unique looking helmet, so it's worth grabbing while you're here. To get the next outfit on the list, you will need to progress through the Minuteman questline until you reclaim the castle. After this, you will need to wait 3 days in-game, then return to the castle to find a new NPC at the castle named Ronnie Shaw. And she will have a side quest for you that will take you into the tunnels underneath the castle. At the end of the tunnels, you will find a body with the Minuteman General's outfit on it. Now the outfit itself will give you 45 damage resistance and 80 energy resistance, and it will increase your charisma by 1. And the Minuteman General's hat will also increase your charisma by 1. The next outfit is one that I feel everyone should have and you should always carry it with you, and that will be the hazmat suit. This outfit will boost your radiation resistance by 1000, making it extremely useful when you're going into areas that have a lot of radiation. Now normally you could just buy this if you came across a vendor that was selling it, or you could find it while you're exploring. But a good way to get a guaranteed hazmat suit is to head over to the Cambridge Polymer Labs location and start the side quest for this area. And when you reach the point in the side quest where you enter the labs, you can go to the room on the far left and here you will find a free hazmat suit. To get the next outfit, you will need to head over to the Good Neighbor Settlement. Then tune your radio into the Silver Shroud signal. After you listen for a while, you will be sent to talk to Kent in the Memory Den. And after talking to him, he will send you to Hubris Comics. When you get here, make your way to the top floor, and here you will find the Silver Shroud costume. Now at first, this costume won't really do anything for you other than increase your perception and agility. But if you bring it back to Kent, he will give you a modified legendary version of this outfit. The legendary version will increase your damage and energy resistances by 42, and increase your perception and agility by 1. But it will also have a legendary perk on it that will reduce damage done to you by humans by 15%. and the Silver Shroud hat will give you one perception. But a really nice thing about this outfit is that you are able to upgrade it to increase its damage resistances. The next outfit will come from Hubris Comics, which is the building we got the Silver Shroud outfit from. To the left of the mannequin that was wearing the Silver Shroud outfit, you will find a couple lockers. And in this locker, you will find Grognak's costume. This outfit will increase your strength by 2 and increase damage done with melee weapons. The next outfit on the list will come from the Dry Rock Gulch area of the Nuka World DLC. On the main street of this park, you will find a couple outfits that go along with the cowboy theme. These will usually just boost your luck or charisma by 1 and they offer no damage resistances, but they can be fun to collect then put onto your settlers. But the main one that we will be grabbing on the main street will come from the mannequin near the gun shop. Here you will find the cowhide western outfit. This is a very unique looking outfit that will also give you one charisma, and the cowboy hat that comes with it will give you one endurance. The next outfit will come from the Mad Mulligan's Mine ride that will be nearby. When you get here, make your way to the end of the ride, and in this service room you will find the body of Sam Teller, who will be wearing the western duster outfit. 
This outfit will give you 20 damage and energy resistance, and 1 charisma and 1 endurance. You can also loot the black cowboy hat off of this body which will give you 1 endurance. The western duster is probably the best looking western themed outfit in Fallout 4, and the bonus stats are nice to have. For the next outfit you will need to go to the Nuka Galaxy ride in the galactic zone of Nuka World. Once here you will need to run to the end of the ride, and here you will find the Nuka Girl rocket suit. This outfit will count as a full suit and helmet, but it will give you 5 damage resistance and 45 energy resistance, and it will give you 1 charisma and allow you to breathe underwater. To get the next clothing item, head over to Far Harbor and talk to Teddy Wright to get the Rite of Passage quest. This will be a short quest that will have a little bit of fighting in it, but once you complete it you can talk to Teddy Wright to get the Captain's Hat. This legendary hat will give you 2 intellect, and the perk on it will increase your movement speed by 10%. The next clothing item on this list can be found at Vault 118 in Far Harbor, which will be hidden underneath the Cliff's Edge Hotel. When you get here, make your way to the vendor in the vault named Pearl, and here you can purchase the Dapper Gent Hat. This legendary hat will give you 2 charisma and give you 14 damage resistance and 12 energy resistance, and it will come with a perk that will reduce damage from robots by 15%. And while you're in Vault 118, you can go into the display room and grab the pirate's hat, which will increase your charisma by 1. The next clothing item on the list comes from the Nucleus in Far Harbor. When you get here, talk to High Confessor Tectus to start the Witch Hunt side quest. And at the end of this side quest, you will be given the legendary Inquisitor's Cowl. This helmet will have a perk on it which will allow you to gain increased intelligence the more irradiated you become, up to a limit of 4. And the final secret outfit on this list can be found at Trinity Tower in the Commonwealth. When you get here, make your way to the roof, and here you will find Rex and Strom. After you take up the enemies around Rex, you can talk to him to get a side quest called Curtain Call, which will just require you to escort Rex to the ground floor. And as a reward for doing this, he will give you either Reginald's suit, if your character is a male, or Agatha's dress, if you are a female. Both outfits will do the same thing, which will increase your charisma by 3. This is one of the largest charisma boosts in the game, and it only takes a few minutes to complete this side quest, so it's definitely worth doing. And those are a bunch of secret outfits and clothing items that you don't want to miss in Fallout 4, but I would love to know which of these you like the most. I hope you enjoyed this video, and thank you for watching.